66-53. Fab, you can have all those you want. Those are just stats. That's what they're saying, too, is just go ahead. We don't care at this point. The dub is going to go to Hotlanta. Their first. They did not win a game in the tip-off, but they've opened up the regular season. This crowd has got into it. The players have got into it. Perfusion, wide open three. They needed a lot more of him tonight. It was lights out. And they he had 18 it. points on seven shots. They didn't give him the opportunity to even really try to function in the, the pick and roll set. I mean, they were going with Fab and it was working out, but when it's when you can't even get the ball up to half court, well, yeah, it's a struggle. And that's something that they struggle with all like, the entire time. And finally start to see one, the big thing for me was the confidence finance you saw from Hawkstown GC. It wasn't on display at all in the tip off and they had some great competition that they were playing, but they weren't even able to put up a lot of a uh, fight. I'm looking at the chat right now. A lot of folks are looking for Jay Full to be the MVP. Not our decision, but 18 and 18. And they're still up talking. Mel East. And our head admin, Gabe. And we see our head admin actually looking up in the crowd. For a few folks. Phil, what the heck is going on? Well, a lot of people are saying malice in the palace part two in the chat, man. It's like Gabe, Gabe earning his money right there. Trying to, might have to threaten a couple technicals, man. I don't know, man. But this game is already over. I don't know what they're so bad about. 66 to 58. Things have gotten heated up here in the studio. Sixty-six to fifty-eight. And the players talking. We got fans talking to the players. Alter is like it's a scene, the, man. It's the, a scene. The, the Hawks <laughs> are sitting back in their trailer. You guys can just keep talking. We came on with a win. You're starting off on one. We're starting off one and zero. Like, not much else you can really say. And we talked about that. You might not have played well in the tip off. But that doesn't matter because everybody is zero and zero. Well, except for the Celtics, they're 0 and 1. The Hawks will move to 1 and 0. I'm surprised to see the Celtics call time out here. Really don't know what the point of it is. But Hawks will play the Jazz next week. And Celtics will have the week off. Honestly, I know Arsenal, it's, it's tough to call because I really think it is impressive for the rookie to step into the spotlight like this, have such a great offensive performance, but the defensive press, like, if they didn't have JF full, I mean, it, you can't really say it because it's certain but, scenarios. I mean, come on. I, I, I get that from a community perspective. You're a community guy. But Arsenal played for this team last year and comes out and scores 18 points, 18 rebounds yeah, but, against his former team. But like I said, you can argue it both ways because he had a lot of free rebounds thrown sure. up to him throughout the entirety of the game, too. I mean, shots. They did take 54 shots. Yeah, they, they took a lot of shots, and that's why he has it. I mean, it's not stat padding. It's the game plans you're going with. Again, it's sure. literally a replica of what Magic Game was running. And I know a lot of people, they obviously, you want to see Jay because of that reason. He literally had them just in a two by four all the way going up the court, didn't allow them to maneuver, didn't allow them to get anything going in a half court set, really since the third quarter going all the way onwards here. I mean, it's tough. You look at the box score, everyone's going to say Arsenal. But if you're looking at Rick and Force go up against one of the they best point guards even, in the league. They didn't even play Jay the full in the tip off. And we got people in the chat saying maybe he should be the rookie of the year. Chat still undefeated. 10-point win for the Hawks over the Celtics.